Hey guys and welcome to another video of Spark Plug. So basically it's a, a tips and trick video and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you guys can open a SOLIDWORKS project, a project which you have created, which you have done in SOLIDWORKS in that, this format and you want how to open that in Autodesk Fusion 360. So uh, if you are aware of the Fusion 360 environment, you, you will know that you can't just open any file by just double clicking on it on Fusion 360 because Fusion 360 is a cloud based uh, software so therefore there's a trick how to open any form, uh, SOLIDWORKS file in Fusion 360s. So what you have to do is just make sure you are connected to internet and just go to files and click on upload. So uh, and it will ask you to drop the file uh, of uh, you want which you want to be, uh, to be uploaded. So here's a file of uh, 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 with few assembly which I have created in SolidWorks. So here's the, the assemble file and the uh, particular file for each part. So what I have to do is just select select all the files and just drag it over here and just cancel it and then and it shows that uh, this is assembly one and the size is approximately one MB and just click on upload. So and uh, it will take some time, approximately uh, two to three minutes, according to the uh, depending upon the uh, speed of the internet and the size of the file. So it shows that all the file is being uploaded to Fusion 360. So what you have to do is just uh, you can see the upload progress here. So just wait for a few seconds and wait for this file to upload. It will first upload in Fusion 360, and then it will take some time for the processing, and then you can able to open that file from this here. So just wait for some time and let this complete. Uh, so guys, as you can see, uh, the uploading has been completed and the file is now showing in the Fusion 360 file menu. So what you have to do is just click on close and now you can just open this SOLIDWORKS file which I have created in SOLIDWORKS and uh, now this will simply by double clicking open will open in Fusion 360. So uh, actually my system is, uh, uh, I just can't handle this Fusion 360 sometimes as uh, uh, the system requirement for Fusion 360 is not met by my system. So uh, let's just close this. So here it is. This is the file that I have created in SOLIDWORKS. Now it is, uh, it can be shown in Fusion 360. Uh, one thing that, that uh, before ending this video, I, I want to tell you guys that um, before make, you have, if you want to make any changes in the design of this Rubik's Cube, uh, you can see that there is no part, a timeline here. The timeline is not showing. So what you have to do is, uh, suppose that I want to move any block, so the Fusion is not reading, uh, not getting this block. So what you have to do is just click on this, right click on this assembly and go to the down top, lowermost uh, uh, option and cap, uh, click on capture design history. So what, uh, what this will do, this will just capture the design history and now you can see the timeline is here. So now you can make whatever changes you want to make in this uh, Rubik's Cube and you can just uh, save this file in any format you can want. Uh, not only the SOLIDWORKS file, you can uh, import uh, all types of uh, file which Fusion 60 supports nearly. Uh, these types of files Fusion supports and you can open these types of file by uh, uploading in Fusion 360. So, so hope uh, you guys will like this video. Uh, do comment any queries in the comment below. I will be happy to answer that. Thank you and have a nice day.